Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, we will start converting this design into a blogger template. So let's get started. Right here, I have logged into my blogger dashboard and uh, I have this website called Live Blogger created in Blogger. Now here I also have these posts created. So you can go ahead and create a new blog and start adding some posts for working with our design. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to theme. And right now the theme that is set is called Contempolite. So if we open our website, this is how it looks. This is the Contempolite theme which comes by default with Blogger. And uh, let's go ahead and change this to our current website that we have over here. So for that let's go to our theme tab and uh, let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. Now before making changes to your website theme, just go ahead and create a backup of this code. So you can just select all and copy this and paste it somewhere. All right now let's go ahead and delete all of this and uh, let's add our HTML over here. So let's go to our source code and uh, this is the source code of our website. So let's copy everything from here and let's paste it over here. And uh, now let's go ahead and save this and let's see what we get. So let's click on save. And here we can see we have some errors. So the first thing is that we have this ampersand symbol over here. Now since this is XML code, we need to add ampersand AMP semicolon. So let's search for ampersand. And here we have ampersand. So let's change this to ampersand AMP semicolon. And let's click on save. Now the next error that we have over here is that there should be one and only one skin in the theme. So we need to add a skin. So let's go over here to head. So this is the head section and here let's add a B skin. So to add a B skin you can just type less than B colon skin. And uh, you need to close this over here. So I'll just type less than forward slash B colon skin. And uh, here in the skin we need to add a C data. So let's type less than exclamation square brackets C data and open square brackets and close it. And here we need to close the angle brackets as well. Now in this B skin we can add our CSS. So let's go to our source code and uh, let's go to the CSS file. So this is a style or CSS file. So I'll just copy everything from here and uh, let's paste it inside the B skin tag. And now let's click on save. Now the next error that we have over here is that we did not find any section in your theme. So we need to add at least one section. So let's go inside the body tag and uh, here let's create a section. So let's type less than B colon section and let's add an ID for the section and I'll just type main for now. And let's close the section over here. And now let's click on save. And now we can see that our update was successful. Let's go to our website and reload. And this is how our website looks right now. We can see that everything looks all right. We don't have the images displayed as of now. Now let's scroll down and we have all the sections displayed over here except the images. Let's take a look at the mobile version. And it also looks all right. We don't have the image for the icon. Everything else is looking all right. All right now the next thing we will do is we will add all the images. So let's go back and uh, in our theme editor we don't have the option of adding images. So we need to add the images in a post or a page and we need to get the link and paste it over here. So let's save this and uh, let's go back to our dashboard. And let's go over here to pages and let's create a new page for the images. So I'll just create a new page over here. And uh, here I'll just type images for the theme. And here we can add the images. So you can just click on this insert image button and click on upload from computer. And here you can just click on browse. And here we have all the images of our website. So previously we had these SVG images and the SVG images are not supported in our blogger website. So I just converted them to WebP images. So you can just search for free SVG to WebP converter and you can convert these images. So I'll just go ahead and select all these images. So we have these WebP images for the SVG and we have these PNG and JPG images. So I'll just select these as well. And we don't need to select these blog images because they are going to be dynamically fetched from the posts. So let's click on open. 
And here we can see all the images have been added. So let's select these images and we need to change the size to original size. So I'll just do that for all the images. Now for some of these I have selected X large instead of original size because I think the original size is too large. And then we have Spotify menu icon and all these other icons. And let's also change the size of this icon. Let's change this to X large. And now we don't need to publish this page. We can just get the URLs from right clicking over here and clicking on copy image address. So let's do that for all the images in our theme. So let's go back to our theme and uh, let's scroll down. And the first image that we need is uh, the close icon image. So let's go back over here and let's scroll down and let's search for the close icon. So here we have the close icon. I'll just click on it and right click and click on copy image address. And I'll just paste it over here inside the source. And let's scroll down and then we have the menu icon. So let's go back over here. Let's search for the menu icon. And here we have it. Let's right click over here and click on copy image address. And I'll just paste it over here. Let's scroll down and then we have this image for the hero image. So this is the hero image. I'll just right click over here and click on copy image address. And let's paste it over here. Let's scroll down and then we have these logos for these companies. So first we have Airbnb. Let's right click over here. Copy image address and paste it over here. Then we have Spotify. So I'll just right click and copy image address and paste it for Spotify. And then we have Google and Canva. And now let's scroll down and then we have this check icon. So let's copy the link. And let's paste it over here. And we have the check icon over here as well. And if you scroll down, we have the check icon for the other section as well. So let's paste it over here. And here. And let's scroll up. And then we have image1.jpg. So if we go to our website, this is the image1.jpg. So let's get the link. So I'll just right click and click on copy image address. And let's paste it over here. And then we have the images for service1 and service2 and also service3. So this is the service1 image. And then we have service2 and 3. So let's copy the link and paste it over here for service one. And let's copy this link and let's paste it over here. And then lastly, let's copy this link and let's paste it over here. Let's scroll down and here we have the image 2 and uh, this is the image 2. So let's copy the link of this image. And I'll just paste it over here. And let's scroll down and uh, then we have these blog images. So I'll just keep it as it is for now. And then we have the footer and we need to have these social media icons. So let's copy these icons from here. So here we have Instagram, I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. And then we need to have the logo for X. So let's copy this, I think this is the logo. And let's paste it over here. I think this is for Dribble, so let's paste it for Dribble. And let's copy the logo for X. And this is the logo for X, so let's copy this. And let's paste it over here. 
And here you can go ahead and add the links of your social media pages inside the href. Right now, let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back to our website and let's see how it looks. Let's reload this page. And this is how our website looks right now. Let's scroll down and here we have all the images displayed correctly. And the footer is also being displayed correctly. Now for these images, I don't think we have the correct width. So here we can see that we have a larger width for the images. So let's go back to our page and let's change the size of these images. So let's click on this settings icon and let's change this to original size. And let's do the same for this image right here. And now let's copy these links. So let's copy this link right here. Right click and click on copy image address. And let's paste it over here. So this is the image. I just paste the new link over here. And let's scroll down and we have the other image right here. So let's copy the link. And uh, let's paste it over here. And now let's click on save and let's go back to our website. Let's reload this page. And now we can see that the correct image size has been loaded. Right now let's go to our mobile version and let's see how it looks. Now this is how the mobile version looks. Now for this menu icon, we have a lot of width, so we need to change it. So if you right click over here and go to inspect, here we can see that we have this division of the class of menu icon. And we can just change the width over here. So I'll just type with 32 pixels and this is how it looks. So let's do the same for the close icon and the menu icon. Let's go back over here and uh, let's search for dot menu icon. And uh, let's search for it again. And here we have the CSS of the menu icon. I'll just change the width to 32 pixels. And let's search for close icon. And here let's change the width to 32 pixels as well. And let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and reload. And let's go to the mobile version. And here we can see we have the correct size for the image. And if I click on this menu icon, nothing happens right now. So let's add the JavaScript as well. Let's scroll down and uh, here, instead of this main.js file, we need to write our JavaScript directly inside the script tag. So I'll just create this ending script tag over here and let's add the javascript in here so let's go back to our source code let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this uh, javascript from here and let's paste it over here and now let's save this let's go back to our website and reload let's go to the mobile version and uh, let's click on this icon and we have the mobile menu items displayed over here and the close icon is also working all right now the last thing we will do in this video is we will add the search box so if you go to our website and if you go to this page right here, here we can see that we have added the search icon. So let's add this to our theme. Let's go back to our theme code and let's scroll to the start of the body tag and let's go back to our source code and we have added the search box inside the single post. So here we have the search container. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here after this uh, mobile menu items and then we need to add the icons so we have the search icon inside this menu items so let's copy this from here and uh, let's add it inside the menu items and we need to add it for the mobile version as well so here we can see that we have added this search icon beside the menu icon so I'll just copy this and we need to add this container division so here we can see we have this menu icon. So I'll just go ahead and create a division and uh, let's give it a class of mobile icons container. And uh, let's add this uh, menu icon division inside this container division. And let's paste the search icon after this menu icon. And I'll just go ahead and tap this over to the right side. And now let's go ahead and click on save. Let's go back to our website and let's reload. And now we can see we have the search icon displayed over here. And if I click on that, we have the search box displayed and everything is working all right. Let's go to the mobile version. And here also we have the search icon displayed and everything is working all right. So with that, we have added our homepage design to our blogger theme. Now in the next video, we will continue working on our theme. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <music> you.